Hallelujah. And then some of us, the discipline to see food and leave it. Do you know, listen, do you know gluttony is a spirit? Anything you have must finish before you rest. It's a spirit. You can discipline yourself. Believe me when I tell you this. You can't do much with God and with destiny if you don't have control over food. As great people. Most people hate January because usually most, whether in your prayer group or in a church, there's some kind of fasting. There are people who don't have personal fasts in a month. Ah! In Africa, please repent. Please repent in the name of Jesus. You need strength and capacity. Especially if you're a man of God here, you're a priest, you're a father. The Bible gives us a medical advice that if you don't plan to walk, don't eat. It's an advice. He who does not walk should not eat. It's an advice that the moment you keep piling food without walking, you are dying. So go back home and discipline yourself and trust God for grace many africans are already dead while they walk we have to trust god to live a long time i don't know about you but no devil will take my life before my time the fullness of my days i will fulfill are you in agreement with me i pray over everyone here at david's christian center the spirits that caught men cut short their lives and their destinies may it be far from you in jesus name Please sit down. Let me five minutes and let's finish these decisions and I speak over your life. Number five. What is the fifth decision? If you've been sleeping, wake up. The decision to be financially independent. Uh -huh. The fifth decision that you must make is a commitment that I must, I must sort this issue of lack and want and financial struggles this is not just bowing down to the flesh this is not just some carnal pursuit for money remember we are kingdom people and everything we deal with is with respect to our desire to see jesus glorified and to see him revealed can i tell you this dear brothers and sisters people of god do not let anyone downplay the necessity of supplies in your actualizing destiny you reject this truth you will spend your life paying the price proverbs 22 and verse 7 who would know that this kind of scripture will be in the bible read it with me please if you're a christian ready one to read that the rich rule it over the poor that means being poor has a dangerous side effect and it says the borrower is servant to the lender. If you are an intelligent person and you want a servant, how do you make that servant in this scripture? Make the best a borrower. Africa, you see it now? Nigeria, you see it now? That whoever is a borrower must also be a servant. So instead of calling you a servant, I create an economic name and I call you a... Ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 13. Don't forget this story for the rest of your life. Ecclesiastes 9 and verse 13. Please look up. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me. Next verse, please. There was a little city and few men within it. And there came a great king against it and beside it and built great bulwarks against it next verse please help me read one to read now there was found in it a poor wise man what a description and he by his wisdom delivered the city uh-huh yet no man remembered the same poor man the story concludes with this go back to verse 16 now not 13 you took us back then said i read with me now wisdom is better than strength uh-huh nevertheless the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard
that a man by his wisdom saved a land and they swept him under a carpet economic empowerment is part of the dominion pillars you cannot truly walk in dominion until there is dominion in terms of finances now there are people who have taught this from a carnal standpoint and they continue to fuel lust in people and make you lie down on people's cars lie down on their compound snap in front of their gates that's not how to be prosperous but can i tell you one of the decisions you must make up your mind to do is to wave poverty goodbye and insist that it waves you back There are many temptations that are not necessary when God has helped you. Are we in agreement? Yes, sir. Lack and want can drive you to do things you never believed you would do. Believe me. I believe that it is a prayer point in the heart of your man of God and his dear wife to see a church every leader who loves god and loves the people given to him among the many things you seek to see captured in their lives and their christian experience a life of economic dignity a life of economic dignity a life of economic dignity imagine that i came here now and i'm thinking of some bills to pay and all of that and god has given me the prophetic and i can see your account number what do you think is going to happen I will easily yield to that temptation and say mister i'm looking at 100 million don't act like it's not there i will call the account number and tell you look just respect yourself the god who showed me that thing and god is saying me i gave you this as a gift prosperity is a weapon it can shield you from many things many things many things and at the end of this service, I'm going to be speaking over your life. That in the name of Jesus this year, even when men say there is a casting down, you will prosper in a way that you want to run away from your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are so many things that are not prayer points. They just need supplies. One of my, one of my dear sons in the ministry will say that prosperity will reduce your your prayer request and increase your prayer life that means you spend time praying but most of your prayer will be worship and praying in the spirit there are people who go to pray and for six hours they've not started praying in tongues yet because of the way the needs are plenty at the end of it there is no edification because you've strangled the part of prayer that is made for edification at the altar of your needs i made a decision years ago that i will never be poor this is not a canal man's declaration i have studied poverty carefully and i've seen what it can do to a glorious destiny i don't know if you make up your mind to like it but let me counsel you remember our teaching here is choose life don't hope that you will be blessed you must make that decision this night that I'm tired of this thing. I'm tired of this. The last one, and then we'll pray. What is the last decision? The last decision you must make is the decision to build quality destiny relationships. The decision to build quality destiny relationships. Listen to me. The command be fruitful means be relational. The only way to be fruitful is by relationships. It takes a husband and his wife to have a child. Is that true? Agriculture, biology teaches us that there is no relationship. There is no fruitfulness outside of relationships. There are many currencies that we were given to buy our possibilities in this realm one of the hard currencies is relationships there are seven of them the cheapest and the weakest currency is naira and dollars and pounds if that is the only thing you have in your account to buy things you are really poor 
I always pray for my people that may you never be so poor that all you have is money. Can I tell you this? Relationship is profound wealth. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But don't joke with who likes you. Oh king, you love Hadassah, she becomes queen immediately. The king hated the baker in three days he died. It was not God that killed him. Who hates you may not be an issue, but who likes you? Listen, this is where many believers do not understand the power of relationships. Our loved ones and the elderly have taught us the power, the economic, spiritual, sociological value of relationships. As I conclude, let me ask you a question. Is there anybody in your life today who thinks you are such a big deal? that you can call upon and you can guarantee that the person will respond to you is there someone today if you are in a financial need you can call him and say sincerely this is my house rent and he says over my dead body not when i'm with you can i tell you you are sitting on a time bomb if there is no such person in your life believe me when i tell you dear people of god is there someone who you can wake by 2 a.m and is not embarrassed he says if it's for you i can go that far many of us keep running alone i have the holy ghost yes you are right but you have to understand that the way god works is that all blessings come from god through men to men don't forget this all blessings come from god through men to men if god says yes and the middle man says no the yes remains in the realm of the spirit while you suffer on earth i have learned the value of quality destiny relationships nobody in this church under this high level unction should be without quality relationships because your man of god and the woman of god this is this is one of the core areas of grace they've taught you things many of you get cheaply what other people pay for to learn don't abuse it because it came free listen to this word of caution i tell you i said this to your pastor yesterday i also said it to the woman of god chances are excellent that when something is very available you can cheapen it learn to protect and preserve the wisdom that comes from these people they are gifts not only to you but to the body of christ are you are you following now please learn relationships relationships are investments next time they ask you to list all your investments don't list land alone land does not talk to you land cannot love you land cannot move from where it is to where trouble is meeting you but there are men who can move that there must be someone in your life who says provided i am alive your children will never beg for bread there are people who relationship is a stream of income for them there are preachers who are alone aside from god there is no human vessel who believes in you enough no i love everybody but i don't commit the same level of energy and vigor to everybody there are people who have taken out time to invest in my relationship with them people families i will be stupid and even foolish to generalize relationship and invest the same kind of energy go back and stratify your relationships who are the top five people who have shown you honor in your life don't you treat them the same way with everyone no I love everybody sincerely but not everybody means the same thing to me as far as relationship is concerned there are people who will never see you cry except they are not alive there are people who will never see you hungry please let me tell you this when you find people in your life who love you to stretch that far I want you to take note of them and invest into that relationship is one of the lessons that i learned having the privilege of access to our fathers of faith in this nation my goodness my god 
there are a few relationships those people have in their life that are almost magnetic the the formidability of their destiny relationships is unbendable there are some of you god forbid if your house gets bought you will sit down outside because there is nobody who loves you enough to say i can't let your children cry you don't have to get everything by working for it yourself relationships are a leverage tap into it there are two keys to relationships among the many that you will learn number one is honor you can't dishonor people and expect them to be indefinitely committed to you no honor is the ability to discern celebrate and reward people for their uniqueness don't trivialize people and expect commitment from them don't trivialize your pastor and the woman of god and expect them to continue investing if you ask your pastor and ask the woman of god they love everybody you are all their children spiritually and they have been committed to you but let me tell you sincerely how you know you are special is when your absence means a lot to the people if your absence does not mean anything it means your presence is not adding much there are people if they don't come to church on sunday more than 50 people will call them what happened you are too significant to be ignored there are others is after two months somebody will say where is that noisy person who doesn't listen as soon as they say make up your mind that you will be a blessing to someone don't come to church and ignore people or don't wait until you see people who have a a a persona that communicates wealth then you now respect them because you saw the designers you saw the shoes and the watch someone who will be sitting close to you who can buy anything you think about can just be as simple as possible and they say turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor may god bless you or i need you you don't know that's your job you are supposed to just turn and say i need you and the person will say see me tomorrow but pride for nothing can make you close the remaining 10 years of your life i want to speak over your life listen to me these are truths that have come to you from heaven to change your life the decision to invest in quality relationships write it down who are the 10 most important people in my life that I need to truly commit to you love everybody but who are they who are they who are they who are the people that love me sincerely and truthfully not just for what they will get people who will cry with you there are four kinds of men you will need in your life let me take one minute to share this with you number one you need divine connectors divine connectors do not have what you are looking for but they know who has it you need them the key to receiving from divine connectors is discernment because most times they do not come in a form that is desirable for instance the slave girl and naman if naman ignored her and say you are a dirty slave girl he would have remained leprous for the rest of his life pay attention to divine connectors they may look weak they may look unintelligent they may not seem to fit your status but they carry something a road map that can lead you the slave girl could not heal elisha but she could point him to the prophet who could heal him when you enter the bus tomorrow don't laugh at the conductor look at the poster he's holding it may be a business seminar that answers your prayer divine connectors do not even know they are divine connectors number two you need in your life men of influence they are called gatekeepers they are the ones who control systems and structures you need their credibility and you need their endorsement there are times oh joseph you have the power to interpret the dreams but you do not have access to the king's palace you will need to depend on who is already in the palace to speak for you these are the wisdom keys that believers do not know can i tell you this it matters who speaks good of you at the gates 
you must trust God that he positions you one person's signature can be the leverage that lifts you many years ago when I was in Zaria there was a a, a very popular story someone who wanted to go to um, NDA and they said the person was too short and they could not take him so he went to the then Amir who was alive and reported it and said they refused to take me that they said the height requirement I didn't meet it the Amir said go back to the commandant and tell him the Amir has added your height say relationships that's right is there someone who can walk in partnership with the Holy Ghost to add your height? Every rule on earth was put by man. Under a certain condition, it can bend. There are positive compromises that happen at the instance of relationships. Number three, you need gifted people in your life. You don't just need loyal people you need results and there are times you need gifted people. what will happen to you tonight this man that man lifting his hands sir shout jesus as loud as you can in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands towards you that name you have called i'm seeing fire just come on you and the lord is saying he's shifting you to a new season in the name of jesus christ May that fire shift you to a new season. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yola, are you ready tonight? Lift your voice in one minute. Everything you desire to happen in your life, begin to speak it. Declare. Let's have all the prayer requests. Please. those powers to be lifted please whether you are inside or outside so that there's no commotion and all of you who are by the edge up here please be careful I want to pray for you that everything that does not name the name of Christ in the name of Jesus is time for it to go at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus that is the name that has been lifted above every other name hear me Yola at the shout of that name if god be god everything sitting on anyone's destiny that is not of the christ it must give way right now are you ready one two three shout jesus
help those under the anointing. We don't have space for them here. Every altar, the Bible declares blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross. I decree and declare every planting that is not of God, we uproot it now. We uproot it now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. My goodness, our time. Who is Godia? Godia, I'm hearing a name, Godia. Who is that? I'm hearing a name, Godia. Please, we do not have all the time. If you are here and the Lord mentions your case or your name, please, very quickly, let me just know. The power of God is coming on you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Why are they here? Hallelujah. Please don't come out at random. In the name of Jesus, my dear, look at me. I stretch my hands. The power of God is coming upon you. And I decree and declare shame and reproach. Let it live your life right now. In the name of Jesus, over, forever, help her. In Jesus' name I pray. Um, who is Paul? Paul. Paul. Who is that? Paul. You are wearing like a milk kaftan. Paul. Is there someone like that? Who is that? What is your name? Where's the mic? Huh? My name is Paul, sir. From where? I stand. Come. Paul, God is about to change your life, my friend. What do you do? I try so many businesses. Huh? Okay, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. I will pray for you. There is a grace for entrepreneurship on you. And it may not look like it now, but the Lord is turning you. He will transform you in a very remarkable way in the name of jesus christ please bring for me there is a gentleman not a lady a gentleman he will shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone please bring him for me very quickly i need to pray for him before we pray for the sick my friend look at me in the name of jesus i bring you life and i pray by the power of the holy spirit let seasons change over your life receive that grace right now in the name of jesus a change of season you will never be the same never be the same in the name of jesus christ help me please there is a gentleman the power of god is coming on ah. please bring him your name is paul too what's your name that Juma. i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ i'm about to pray for the sick now let there be a miracle for you supernatural miracle in the name of jesus i am the lord is showing me a woman all the ladies in that family this is what i'm saying in my vision none of them have been able to have a child who is that i want to pray for you please don't just come out at random this is a vision god is showing me please who is that person i want to pray for you now it's time for god to turn your morning into dancing what do you do ah huh? you are a pastor where ah huh? didn't think i want to pray for you 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 look at me look at me your life will never be the same you will begin to walk strongly in the healing anointing. Amen. Take that grace now. I stretch my hands. May that grace come upon you. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for this gentleman by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord himself show you mercy and lift you even to higher grounds by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the family, if you are not here, no problem. We'll just, I want to pray for the sick all i'm seeing the ladies no fruitfulness at all is that is there someone like that don't tell lies come where are you from where is she from? who knows huh huh mother is there somewhere like that okay how many are you? how many are you your family are you married no children Look at me. 
you are going to have a baby boy. The prophetic does not only reveal, it creates. It makes what has no business happening to happen by the authority of Jesus. I want to pray for you and your sisters. Huh? Maimuna. Maimuna. I don't know why I'm getting this name, Maimuna. We have to redeem the time and pray for the sick. Maimuna. I'm hearing a name, Maimuna. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have shown me concerning this lady. I prophesy upon you and I prophesy, Maimuna. You are wearing maroon. You are coming from outside. Outside. This Maimuna is not in the auditorium. Outside. This side, in fact. Outside. There. Who is that? Where are you coming from? I'm from your uh, 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 Where in? Are you? Yes. I you're, is, she, is she coming from? The person I saw was coming from outside. Yes. I'm where, where were you? Yes. Outside. My dear, what do you do? What do you do? I'm a politician. Do you know why I called you? Because it may look like what you are doing is not making sense. But the way God is going to lift you, it will surprise many people. I'm not a politician, no. I'm a man of God. But you see, there is a kingmaker anointing. Kingmakers don't become kings themselves, but they can enthrone and remove kings. Politicians do politics with integrity. Do politics. If you're a politician here, I beckon on you by the mercies of God. The era of just siphoning resources, let's stop this thing and serve God's people with sincerity. It doesn't matter what political position. No matter how much you steal, is this same stomach, this is the limit of what you can take. We must restore integrity in governance. Hallelujah. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the God of heaven show you mercy. I place grace upon your life. And I provoke the mean Receive the grace now. I set you on fire. Let doors be open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen. I want to pray for the sick now. Our time is gone. My dear, okay, I call her out. In Jesus' name. Just place your hand on your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a miracle. Ah, now. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, every devil gives way now. Amen. Mm. The authority that is in the name of Jesus, the key of David that can open a door that no man shuts and can shut a door. This lady, I'm seeing the grace that was on Esther on you. You, this lady, come. You, this one with come out. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Huh? I want to pray for you. Listen, God will put you in palaces and before kings. It will surprise you what God will do. I'm saying it in the open. There is a grace that enthrones. Have you not been seeing it in your dreams? You saw it in your dreams. You were even telling somebody. Who were you telling? Your husband. Come. Don't be embarrassed, eh? Yes. The wonder walking power of Jesus. What do you do, sir? You're a pastor. I want to pray for you. The grace that was on Esther is on your wife. God will grant her access to systems and structures. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that wine. In the name of Jesus, I set you on fire. May that grace begin to speak. That anointing is coming on you now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, may God help you in ministry, my friend. The Lord is showing you mercy. Look at me. God is sending financial helpers. Sending financial help us. It will be like a dream. God will just turn everything around for you. In Jesus name. Can I pray for the sick now? 
Now, please listen. Please listen to the instruction inside and outside. I'm about to pray for the sick now. We will let the devil know once again that Jesus is still Lord over your life. Hallelujah. Many of you already, please, these ones, if they are alright, they can clear the way so that some of us. Now, when I pray for the sick, we are going to do this very quickly. We are out of time. As soon as I pray and rebuke that devil, the power of God is going to come upon you. There will be miracles here. Please let me have maybe one or two of the pastors and the aisle because we are going to call a few people who we are going to call a few people who have been healed. We'll just take a few testimonies. After that, I will pray on this and then we'll do the impartation. Please be patient tonight and let the Lord visit this city. Hallelujah. Now lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Everyone, inside and outside, and you who is following from your home or from whatever nation of the earth. I'd like you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Jesus, something special, supernatural about today. Jesus, something listen miracles are real and i'm about to pray for you now take your eyes away whether you're on a wheelchair whether you're on crutches whether you're on a stretcher whether you have a medical report that is a death sentence i'm about to pray just look on to jesus right now and i want you to agree with me as i pray are you ready in the name of jesus christ Shout a louder Amen in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. A lady is going to shout loud to the hearing of everyone under the anointing. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. Now, in the name of Jesus. I command every devil of infirmity leave right now every devil of infirmity inside and outside I come by the apostolic and the prophetic and in the name that is above all names every devil of infirmity leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for everyone who is sick be healed now my god mighty miracles are happening be healed now everyone on a wheelchair everyone using crutches lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of jesus christ 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 every blind eye partial blindness total blindness be opened now every deaf ear be opened now i'm seeing someone with the issue of blood whether it's your circle or not you have the issue of blood with severe pain and pray right now go and check yourself the power of god is touching you right now there's someone with severe pain around the limbs in the name of jesus christ the power of god is touching you right now every growth long around the breast area fibroids every devil I declare that it leaves you right now there's someone with a severe case of migraine very severe case of migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus your left eye does not see well but after this prayer I want you to check it right now sugar diabetes is being healed now the Lord is healing. I'm seeing hepatitis B. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
high blood pressure be healed now pile pile the lord is healing pile in fact for one of you it's a severe case of pile be healed now there's someone you have i don't know if it's a boil or a growth around your armpit here after the prayer i want you to check it right now you will not find it again hotness severe heat around the body in the name of jesus be healed right now now for someone it started like it was malaria but till now you feel severe pains around your joints whether you are sick or not the power of god is touching you right now There's someone here with HIV you had a dream and you saw like a dog pursuing you and it's like it beat you and you woke up and started having symptoms of HIV I cause that devil of HIV right now every trace of cancer here be healed right now in Jesus name hmm. marvelous miracles are happening here someone you could not shift your neck right now i'd like you to check it the power of god has touched you you will find out that there's no pain in fact i'm seeing someone outside i don't know what happened to your sense of smell you couldn't i don't know if you lost it or whatever it is that happened but right now the power of god is touching you and you will find out that your sense of smell is restored in the name of jesus christ you had an accident I don't know if it was a fracture or something around your left limb. The power of God is touching you right now. Amen. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing someone is like you've had Qatar, but it does not seem to go. This has lasted for a long time and it remains like that. You can't even inhale properly. Most times when you sleep, you're breathing through your mouth. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Now, hear me. Whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God. Some of you already, right from yesterday, the Lord had healed you. Some of you who came under the anointing here, right now, be healed in Jesus' name. There, there is an elderly woman here. You have a problem breathing. You are unable to breathe properly. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke asthma. Someone, the kind of pain you feel when you have weak low, you are ex you've been experiencing that pain around your fingers. But right now, as I pray for you, the power of God is touching you. Now hear me, inside, outside, all of the overflows outside right to the gate and beyond and then those following online i seal your miracle right now i'm about to give you an opportunity to check yourself and we're going to celebrate miracles here Amen. now only those who have Amen. been healed by the power of god please check them the power of god has touched you i want you to check yourself do what you couldn't do some of you whilst you were under the anointing as you came up everything there's been healing inside or outside i want you to run there'll be a pastor here or here to just have them file up and then we'll take a few testimonies very quickly before the prayer session and then the impartation check yourself right now are you celebrating miracles people are coming my god check yourself check yourself check yourself check yourself do what you couldn't do before People are coming. Adamawa, you celebrating miracles. Those coming from outside, please allow them. Confirm them and then we'll take a few testimonies. Some of you may need to go out and use the restroom. Some of you are outside. Do what you couldn't do before. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. To you, we ascribe all the praise. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Keep coming. Unto you, we ascribe all the praise. Very simple song. Says, Lion of Judah, reign. 
can we take a few testimonies listen as many just check yourself and keep coming but let's take a few that we have here who is who is helping who is maybe we may need a mic this is the one he couldn't motivate me that for last i want two years ago and now he check your what's your name help him please hold on victor help them please get another mic get another mic for us get another mic look at this look at this come are you seeing this this is how long has this been almost one month one month you see it eating up and it has refused to heal my brother look at me you believe in the anointing yes you believe in miracles in the name of jesus i bring you life now by the power of the holy spirit be healed let that wound dry up right now in the name of jesus christ yes please who's the next you don't have to from where you are can just testify before we bring them out my friend your your hand in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands let's take them one by one so that here is not rowdy last year january last year january I leave him, leave him, hold on leave hold on hold on hold leave on him, leave him. what's wrong stroke stroke he could not walk yes, yes. come go come go 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 come gradually gradually don't trust him in the name of jesus look at this could he do this before who came with him nobody knows you are his wife could he do this before my god come on come on yola look at this for three years my friend look at me in the name of jesus christ look at me i cost that devil now go now in the name of jesus now look at what is happening look at his hand look at this look at this lift your hand lift your hand every devil i cost you lift your legs go ahead gradually 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 Jesus, the son of the living God. Let there be miracles right now. The Lord perfects you in Jesus' name. Please, let's not be rowdy. Let's not be rowdy. God bless you. Take it easy. Please coordinate them. Don't just bring them out. We'll do it this way. We'll just alternate. Maybe once or two. Who brought these guys out? Why are they here? Very quickly, help us, please. Praise hold on, hold on. Yes. Lord. Please hold on, hold on. Let's be orderly. Can you help us with the mic? What's your name? My praise. Praise. Yes. What happened? I've been having this severe pain for years. It comes and goes. Pain. Many times I've been How long? scanning for almost seven years. Almost seven years. Yes. If I go and scan, they will say, just go and drink more water. I'm tired of scanning. Even last two weeks, I went to hospital. Uh, right now, what happened to you? I have pain. Check yourself. Press Check. Pain. Press it. Any pain? Any pain? Ah. Is this how you celebrate miracles in your life? My dear, look at me. In the name of Jesus, once I pray for you, you can go back to your seat. Look at me, my dear. I'm here to pray for you. I stretch my hands. That pain never returns again. I cast out now. In the name of Jesus, never returns again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Okay, I pray for you already. Grace for you. Young man, look at me. God is going to use you. Huh? Stand up. I decree and declare, may the help of God come upon you and through you to your family. Amen. I release that grace upon you right now. Amen. Take that anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. Yes, please. I can breathe for two years, but now I can breathe. You Some... couldn't breathe for two years? Yes, sir. Breathe in and out. <laughs> Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Pile. Pile. So how long? For more than 20 years, sir. More than 20 years. Yes, sir. I never cannot see that I cannot start up once in tears. And right I now. Oh come on. Oh come on. Oh come on. Oh come on. Now I can soon I'm coming.
street. Sir, What's your name? Please help us with this mic. Can it be louder than this? I don't know who it is all. Give us. Hold on, please. Yes, please. Go ahead. My name is Medas Clement. I've been having problems with my legs. And with your legs? This one, yes. What couldn't you do? I couldn't even raise it. Like you couldn't raise it? Years. For more than how many years? 15 years. 15 years. Jump. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Take it easy. Go ahead. Oh, you couldn't raise it. Hold on. Where were you standing? You, you could not even step. Okay, walk now. Any pain? Any pain? Lift it now. Any pain? Any pain? Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, it never returns to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. That grace is on you. Bringing you perfection. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Desmond, sir. My God, are you seeing since, the miracles happening since here? Since 2018, sir, I've been having chest pain and waist pain after having a dream that I'm fighting with a demon. And after waking up, I found reality right is walking over my back. And right now, what happened? Um, right now, I'm feeling nothing. Bend down. Sir. Check yourself. Any pain? Any pain? What's your name? Desmond, Come on, give Jesus praise. A miracle for Desmond. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. It never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I bring you life and I bring you healing in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Who's the next person? Hold on, please. Hold on. Don't worry. We'll see. We'll have to redeem the time. Yes, please. My name is Atali Peter. Can you be loud? My name Anyone is, on behind my, the mic? My please name is Atali Peter. Okay. I've been having this pain in my joint for, for more than six months now. More than six months. Yes. Check yourself now. Check yourself. Any pain? Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. By the power of the Holy Ghost, never returns. Sir, let me hear this woman, please. My name is Florida Edmo. Okay. When you said a woman with difficulty, in, an elderly woman with difficulty in breathing. Yes. I quickly answered, and from there, before I cannot even trade from here to where you are. You couldn't trade from there to this place? Yes. And right now? You came in yourself. Hold on. She's trying to say something. I have been on oxygen for a very long time. You have been on oxygen? Yes. Hold on. Huh? You are a doctor. You know her. Oh, you are a doctor. Come, 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 come. My goodness. You are a doctor. Oh my God, look at this. Doctor, she's been on oxygen truly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She has been in and out, in and out of hospital several years. Madam, breathe in and out. Let the devil see you do this. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. I stretch my hands. Perfection to you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You all are celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Let's see if we can take a few more. Go ahead. Next, please, very quickly. My name very is, quickly. My name is Mary. I'm the one having issues with nose. I couldn't pass it anything. Since you couldn't pass it anything? Yes. For how long? Since I was born. Since you were born? Yes, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it anything. Is any of your family member here? No. I now you can smell something. Yes. What I did you smell? I your perfume? Yes, and appetite is big. Hold on. I, I wish they can be a bit loud so that we we'll take. Um, I know there are many miracles. We may not be able to take everything. We might just choose maybe three or four more so that we can head quickly for the next. Okay. You couldn't smell anything. Yes. And when you mention hepatitis B, I'm having issue with it. Last two years, I tested it. You so tested. I'm, yes. Don't worry. Now you can smell. Hold on. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare this sense of smell. What is happening to mama? I'm seeing her walk. She couldn't walk. Oh, severe headache. Okay. Huh? She's suffering from stroke. She's suffering from stroke. Mama? Okay, look at me, my dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now. Never returns again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. My name, my name is Dora. Come on, Yola. Come on, Yola. Come on, Yola. Where are these my favorite guys now?
before we end this service we must do a one minute praise so you gentlemen get ready one minute hold on hold on not now when we are done we pray on this after the impartation one minute we must let the devil know that joy has returned in this environment yes please very quickly praise the lord my name is dora alba i suffered from migraine since i was in primary school so it came started let her go now out now in the name of jesus christ never returns to you again yes please i'm damaris okoje yes ma'am I have stroke and diabetes, hypertension, and then lumbar problem. For God's sake, you, you see how demonic and evil and wicked Satan can be? Stroke, diabetes, hypertension, hypertension, and then lumbar problem. And then lumbar problem. What happened to you tonight? The headache that I was feeling, it is every time, but now. Mama, look at me. Look at me. Lift your legs. Okay. Go ahead. Just lift your legs. Take it easy. Symptoms of stroke. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord perfect what he started right now. Yeah. I stretch my hands and I bring you life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Mama, look at me. Hold on. Lift this hand and put it down. Bring it down. Lift it. Bring it down. Lift it. Bring it down, lift it. Bring it down, lift it. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this that the Lord has begun, let him perfect it right now. Headache, stroke, and what what other what did she mention again? Diabetes and lumbar problem and hypertension. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, next person, very quickly. Um, we may just have two or three and then we're done please we'll, I'll, all the rest i'll pray for you what will happen is that you can you can come and share maybe on a sunday service you can register your testimonies and you can still share them even though i know that there may be people coming from all over the body of christ but you can also take these testimonies to your various assemblies yes please my name is Bobby simon i came with a lump in my armpit but now it's gone you came with a lump check it now it's gone completely yes, sir. The same way this disappeared, everything that must leave your life, I command that it leaves now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you healing and perfection. Never returns in Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Moses William. I've been having migraine for three weeks now. And before I came here, it's as if my head, my head wants to remove. I immediately you caught my grain. I fell under the power of the Holy Ghost outside. You were outside. Yes, sir. And now, now I'm free. Gone forever. Amen. Free today, free forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Uh, let's just let us be the last person there. Eh? I'm so sorry. After Praise this, we will now hold on. Don't drive them back. No, let them stand. I have to pray for them. All of look at the long queue right till outside. Look at what Jesus is doing here. Yes, please. Yeah, praise God. My name is NSCDK. You mentioned my case. I was sitting outside there. That those you see have, the uh, outside people again? Uh, problem with the left leg. And I happen to have one. You have? Oh, I'm seeing. The yes. bandage. Yes. And I've been... What happened to you? Sincerely, I don't know. I went home. I came back. I started having the pains. Since then, it has really cost me so much. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Imo State, but I walked here. Okay. Mm. And you could not walk? No, I'm walking, but I spent too much on it. It refused to go? I know it will go. Uh -uh. Yeah. Answer me. Before now. Yes. What is it a boil? Is it what does is it a wound? I can't even say. I Just can't. pain like that. What I know I step on something. You step on something. Yes. Every demonic thing. Planted and programmed around your life. I call upon the God of heaven. He takes it out of your life now. My friend, look at me. I pray for you. This demonic thing, I curse it by the God of heaven. Amen. Now, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. it dries up and that pain, that swelling, that discomfort leaves your life now and it leaves your life forever. Amen. Now, for all the so many miracles inside and outside and those of you who could not have the time to testify, Lord, we give you glory for it. We decree and declare that you will be glorified and for all of you who have received these miracles, they remain permanent in your life. Yeah.
and for those who you stood in for because some of you have sick people some in hospitals some in various places i agree with you right now that in jesus name you will return back and you will meet testimonies waiting for you hallelujah god bless you now please all of you you're going to stretch your hands now there is a covenant of answered prayer the bible says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come this ladies and gentlemen is the most accurate representation of your desires even when we prophesy we do so in part because we are limited even when we pray for the sick the time will not even allow us to do justice to everyone as should be but this is both a token of your faith a representation of your expectation listen to me there is a god that answers prayer I have seen God answer prayers in remarkable ways. Um, I had the honor and the privilege some months ago to be alone in Baba Deboe's prayer room. And while I was there, I lay down. The only thing I said was, God, the covenant of answered prayer that you have given this man through the years. I respect and I honor that anointing. Let it also come upon me so that everyone I pray for and everyone I declare upon, in addition to that which you have given upon my life, let this grace speak. And God heard me. You've heard me say I'm a product of many anointings. It is true. We are not the inventors of this grace, it's a relay. We also received it. Hallelujah. I have read through history. Many years ago, a man of God was going to pray for me who had had the opportunity of meeting with a few of the generals before they went to be with the Lord. And here's what he told me. He said, Smith Wiggles were told Lester Sumro. He said, when you get old, make sure you do not die with this anointing. He said, find young men and transfer this grace unto them. We are recipients of this grace. Nobody invents the anointing. It's a relay. In one of my encounters, I had this man come to me in my vision and he was talking with me and I was listening. Profound wisdom. And when he turned, he was about leaving. I was calling him and I said, Sir, you did not tell me your name. And he stopped and turned back to look at me. And he said, Paul. Listen, I didn't always walk in the prophetic in this dimension. I'm a product of many anointings but I will tell you one of the stories one night late in the night I was watching William Branham and it was an interview and I was just soaking in the presence of God you know people have criticized the man castigated him said all kinds of things because of a few limitations at the end of his ministry and I, I saw the purity and the heart and the sincerity of that man. Most people will not stand for one year if they carry one tenth of the anointing that was on that man. They will not even have the stamina to stand. And I said, Lord, but this man, he served you with all his heart. And suddenly from the screen of my laptop, a cold sensation from that screen upon my head. And it started going down over a period of 30 minutes. And the moment that happened, it just ceased. By the next meeting I would go to, the heavens opened in a strange way. We have been given this baton also. We are products of many anointings. Are you 
get what I'm telling you? When your father, the bishop, stands here, he speaks so much about the Archbishop Benson Idahosa and the impact is hard. Nobody invents this grace. Idahosa himself was a student of T.L. Osborne and a student of those who went ahead of him. Listen to me. I shared with you my encounter in the Renhard Monkey Crusade. We are products of many anointings. In as much as I have met Jesus and I received an impartation directly from him, it still did not stop the supplies of the body. This is why there is no boasting because all that you see today is an election of grace. We are getting into the next prophetic five or ten minutes to wrap up my session here. And I'm going to bow my knees like Paul said. For this cause I, Paul, I bow my knees to our Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And all I want you to do is to stretch your hands in agreement as we crush the gates of darkness. That everything your personal spiritual life could not fight, there is a covenant. You are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh. your hands towards this request and begin to declare that these Egyptians you see today that you will see them no more forever no you don't have to kneel please you just stand let me do the kneeling for you is someone praying open doors enlargement next levels lands territories spiritual fire There used to be a song many years ago every time we were in an attitude of prayer we used to sing that song many years ago it says she i do what i yeah yes Agree with me as I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is not your best. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I bow my knees before the God of my covenant. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth from the earth and I'll be here from the earth my altar is calling you oh God my worship is calling you Sacrifice is called. Oh God. 
Engrekete maragata branda gata lakatosia Skede belekete Karia ata branda sede balakash Rakata bakata branda gata proskate lakatosia lapa Embania akash alas kade branda skali porusia Shekete bereka tonka mika branda gata baliata Hear me in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare every request tabled here before God, even upon this altar, we turn it from a request to an answered prayer. We turn it from a request to an answered prayer. says over his dead body for this request may the earth open and swallow them every human agent that must be used by God to bring to pass the answers to this prayer we compel them to respond now hear me every long-standing issue that has refused to bow to the name of the lord right now we declare by the power of the holy spirit it bows now yeah. hear me for some of you before you reach home the answers here will reach home before you believe me believe me Hear me. I stand prophetically upon this request. Everything that has risen above you, I bring it under your feet. 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 And if our God is for us, then the could ever stop us. And if our God is with us, then what can say the day? And if our God is for us, then what could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand again? What you do for me is after you pack all this request, there is no reading it. God has read it. You set them on fire somewhere and discard them. Please don't just put them in a bin. Just set it on fire so, to respect everyone's privacy. But in the name of Jesus, I stand in faith with our bishop alongside the veterans of the gospel here represented as a united church over Yola, over Adamawa, over the east, the northeast. We decree and declare that every request here will never return as a request again. Praise the Lord. Now please let me have your attention. I want to do the impartation now. Listen. An impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. Listen. An impartation is not just laying on of hands. You can, hands can be laid on you and nothing transfer to you. He said, the things that thou hast received from us, commit thou to faithful men who will commit to others also every time listen carefully there are three ways to receive impartation number one directly from God through an encounter number two there are results and impartations that come when you align with covenants you don't have to meet the individuals the covenants that represent the institution or the platforms that they are under you can come under that covering and you receive certain levels of possibilities and impartations but the third is when god gives you an opportunity and a privilege to encounter the careers of this grace in the office to downplay on the graces and the sacrifices that are here there are bishops, apostles, and prophets 
and some of you who were not even introduced mighty battle axes scattered across not potentially god is even using you maybe even greater than some of us so standing here to minister does not necessarily mean the greatest or the best it is an election of grace and we must be matured and unashamed to recognize this but can i tell you this you will never receive from a colleague there has to be that spiritual potential difference and without all contradiction the bible says the less is blessed these graces are not graces that we invented we have so received from men and women who have gone ahead many years ago i was preaching in a pfn crusade in kano and i called this woman out i think she came to testify of a miracle she had received she was speaking house and this woman was an intercessor she finishes her bible every 15 days not done that one I said who is this how's her Bible cover to cover that one is a grace I was almost kneeling down to say before MOG destroys me let me humble myself and receive first before I continue can I tell you you know the grace walking by the testimonies that recycle around your life thou anointest my head with oil but I see the result in what happens in my cup you don't anoint my cup if my cup is empty, don't blame the cup. It is what is on my head. If I want my cup to overflow, then what is on my head must overflow. Listen to me. Every possibility in this kingdom is governed by a grace dimension. There is a dimension of engracing and empowerment. Speed has a grace. The prophetic has a grace. Revelation and access to the mysteries of the spirit has a grace. Influence has a grace. Favor has a grace. That was a grace, the anointing that was upon Esther. And within the next five minutes before we round up, I know that our time is gone. But listen to me. I believe that God sent me here through the awesome invitation of the angel over this house and a father over many within this city, our bishop and his precious wife, that under this corporate anointing, if you believe, many of you have seen this day in dreams and visions. Many of you, the same way a doctor diagnoses a patient and says there is deficiency of calcium, we can know the deficiency by the inability to produce certain spiritual results you are a man of god with a strong teaching grace but there is no performance no results in terms of signs and wonders you are a man of god grace with signs and wonders but the opportunity the access to wisdom to understand doctrine and communicate the same with intelligence is not there some of you are anointed in as much as ministry requires but the fortitude for effective leadership is not there now please, all those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. But remember I told you, the Lord Jesus gave me an instruction. Everywhere I travel, there must be someone that that light that came from him to me. I am a product of many anointings. And within the next two, three minutes as we run, please open up your heart. something is about to happen to you. Father, I stretch my hands, joining faith with our bishop, alongside the servants of God that are here represented. You have shown me mercy, you have shown me grace. I have tasted of this wine of the Spirit, and with it you have granted grace to work wonders for your name. seen an eagle this is a representation of the prophetic right now everyone here who must drink of this wine the wine of the prophetic many of you here those dimensions are virgin dimensions help them 
at the count of three inside outside anyone here who should walk in the prophetic one two three take that grace take that grace i unlock the fountain of the prophetic the eyes that see and the ears that hear take it now help this man in the name of jesus christ take it inside outside the balcony everywhere in the name of jesus christ the grace for speed is coming on people now there has been delay and retrogression in ministry and in life but in the name of jesus take the grace for speed help them please help this man take the grace for speed run like elijah run like elijah overtake the chariots of Ahab down to Israel I take 10 years and I put it in one month in the name of Jesus Christ now there are some of you here who are uniquely called into the ministry of signs and wonders supernatural manifestations of power i'm seeing the number 24 24 people lord where are they i stretch my hands at the count of three may that grace from heaven rest upon you now one my god two three take that grace take that grace take that grace in the name of jesus christ there are two men of God here, the minister staff. I'm seeing, I just saw fire come upon you. Kariza di Alahashia, Pendeke Baruskiata, the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, please. Help them, take that drink. The spirit of revelation. Many of you have desired access to scripture. The opening of your eyes to see. Ay, 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 ay. I've seen many people drink of this wine. In the name of Jesus, take that grace now. The miracle of open eyes. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. A depth of comprehension by the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Bishop, sir, with all due respect, I'm seeing our mother. I just saw oil being poured on the woman of God. I saw oil and the Lord told me that there is a grace for favor that he's putting upon our mother and upon anyone she prays for. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, by the privilege of God's grace, let it be as declared by the mouth of the Lord that that grace and that unction for favor coming upon your mother in the Lord, the wife of our bishop, in addition to every grace that she carries, now by the privilege of the election of grace I speak to you, may that oil truly come upon you. Now, you drink of that well in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. That grace. I want to pray for you. There are many of you that need to carry the grace. It takes favor also to experience enlargement. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. We're wrapping up. Exodus 3. Sir, you're a pastor here. I want to pray for you. The Lord is bringing speed to your life. Speed that before the end of 2021, sir, the things that you will do will even surprise you. And the Lord says he's bringing you to a season of reward. In the name of Jesus, speak to you, sir. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I empower your feet to run. In the name of Jesus, I empower your feet to run. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Esther 3.21. Oh dear, I thought we had it projected. Please help us. Our time is up. 
Read with me, please. One to read. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go. You know that there is favor on your life when your hand stops being empty. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The kind of favor you have never seen. I stand in faith with our father, the bishop, and I declare, take that favor now. There are churches that will have land that you did not buy with your money. The God of heaven is arising to give it to you. You step into prepared blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me, every grace that you have seen, that your heart so desires, I stretch my hands by the privilege of the election of grace. I decree and declare access to kings, access to systems and structures. May that grace come upon you now. Everyone here who is saying, Apostle, I cannot leave this meeting without Jesus. While I heard you speak, I realize and I recognize that I need Jesus. Please, no movement. There are some of you outside, you are saying, Apostle, I came for this conference, now turned crusade, and I need Jesus. We have two minutes, our time is up. Please, if you are here, before I leave this city, I want to stand with you as we make that declaration for Jesus. I am going to count one to five. Those who are coming from outside, please allow them, in as much as they are coming just for salvation. I will count one to five, run like there's fire on the mountain. You come and stand here right now. One, you are running to Jesus. Don't sit back. Let's celebrate them as they come. From inside, outside, you need Jesus. Two, please stand up for space. Three, are you coming? Please rush, rush, rush quickly. and Satan come come to Jesus come to Jesus come to Jesus come to Jesus Nina yesterday Bazan Koma Bazan Koma Nina yesterday Bazan Koma Bazan Koma Jesus Yola is calling you, he's giving you a new beginning. The Bible says, Whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me, all of you who are standing here, and you who is following in your homes, following everywhere, there is an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. The Bible declares, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life listen to me i salute every one of you for making this bold declaration i want you to lift your right hand high to heaven listen you are not just reciting a poem jesus is here and ensure that this decision you make is true is lasting is sincere all of you who are here in front shout this loud after me say lord jesus Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I receive Jesus tonight as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I receive the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness. 
and I declare that I reign forever. I am a recipient of the life of God. I declare that the power of sin, of Satan, of hell, of the grave is broken over my life. From today, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. Father, I decree and declare, let this be a new beginning for these people. You will never return to yesterday again in Jesus' name. According to the authority of scriptures, you are recipients of eternal life. And from today until forever, in the name of Jesus, we call you sons and daughters of light. The grace to live victorious in your Christian life, may that grace be released upon you. Finally, I commend you to the ministry of the Spirit and the ministry of the Word for your establishment and your maturity in righteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Is there anywhere they are going to or they return to their seats? Okay, now, I know there are a number of you. Where, where, what's the direction? Okay, now please, all of you here who came to make that declaration, I believe you will be giving slips. All of you, make sure you collect a slip. You're going to fill it legibly. And then, are they returning back to their seats? Someone advise me. Okay, now all of you in concert, please move to my left, which is your right. Let's celebrate them as they go, all of them. There will be a few counselors who will receive you. Make sure you pick your slip on your way going. Y'all are celebrate them. We're almost done. Very quickly, very quickly, celebrate them as they go. Hallelujah. Now, listen, please. Listen. Um, I know that I, I may not be able to see Bishop now because of the people, but I want you to know that I am honored and really blessed to visit Yola again. And for this platform that the Lord has provided, I want to thank you sincerely, Bishop Sir and your precious wife alongside the team of elders all of the people who have helped to make my stay a profitable one even though a brief one we had wonderful moments today with bishop and i want to appreciate every servant of god be powerful that you wake up in the morning and you decree this is the day that the lord has made i rejoice and i am glad in it i prophesy and i declare that gentiles come to my light they are kings to the brightness of my rising. And you walk through that day as if creation owes you. And you begin to see all kinds of miracles and all kinds of doors open for you. And this brings that, that the joy that comes from knowing that your life is producing and commanding results will bring a consolation to your Christian experience. Listen to me. Do not be silent. Learn to create possibilities. Are we together? Every day is at the mercy of your speaking. Instruct it to become for you what the word of God says should be. The third assignment of prayer. You must learn to legislate. We have, I'm sure in this church, and probably following, we have members of parliament in this nation, House of Assembly, Senate. And did you know all that they do is to use words develop and enact policies and these policies directly affect people passes through first reading second reading and all of that they adopt it it becomes law speaking they are paid to speak they speak from their minds from their thinkings from their perspectives if you keep quiet over your destiny is what you do not want that will happen i assure you whether you plant or not something will always grow in the farm provided there is rain and unfortunately it's what you do not want that will grow are we together speak over your business speak over your ministry speak over your family your assignment is to keep speaking in the name of jesus christ i will not give birth for sorrow in the name of jesus my mind is fruitful the favor of the lord is upon me 
in the name of Jesus, I am escaped from these six things, even the scourging tongues of men. You are praying and you are making decrees. You forget about what who is thinking or not thinking. Your assignment, your destiny is absolutely dependent on the power of creation. Things only happen to you if you are silent. Negative things, I mean. Number four. Are you ready for this? The fourth assignment of prayer is as a tool for warfare and intercession. Warfare and intercession. Apostle, is this necessary? Hmm. Live long. That's my answer. I don't have much to tell you. Please make sure you are alive for long and you will revisit this message again and again and again. John 10.10 10, The thief cometh not. Satan is called the thief. I don't know how many of you want to be friends with thieves. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. This is his tripartite character of destruction. To steal, to kill and to destroy first john chapter 5 and verse 19 we're wrapping up now first john 5 19 someone's destiny is changing this morning in the name of jesus first john 5 19 and we know that we are of god it says please help me read the remaining part and the whole world stop does that include the region of your office does that include where your church is does that include your village does that include nigeria does that include the space of the land you just bought the whole world lieth in wickedness when speaking with my people i would always make this observation nigerians know how to lament emotionally and we say who did i offend very comforting statement but how erroneous you do not have to offend anyone everyone is born in the middle of an old story that you are forced to be part of the story of the issue between light and darkness is not something that started with us everyone was born in the middle of an old and ancient story and can i tell you that story is so constructed that the moment you appear in it, you must act in that scene. Nobody invites you to be part of that movie, provided you are born, you pass through the womb of a woman, you must be part of it. Satan knows that everyone born of a woman is a potential tool in the hand of God. Number one, he does not even give you a chance to grow. If he can kill you, he will with joy. I guarantee you. Satan does not have to wait for you to be born again, to be trained and mentored. Uh -uh. In the Bible, children were killed. He killed them without thinking twice. And then, you now come to stand before God's people and surrender your heart to Jesus Christ. I hope you know that when you were giving your life to Christ, it was not the preacher who led you that was seeing you alone. The realm of the spirit, including the demons, principalities. And like I would tell my people, most believers do not understand the power of the life they just received. But Satan and demons understand what you received. They know the potential of this life you have received. And they know that by your declaration, you have drawn a line. I think it was on Sunday, I was talking to my people and I was helping them to see and appreciate the extent of the rebellion and the stubbornness of Satan. That for millions, millions of years, at least as we know, maybe more, from the time he was casted from heaven, Satan is still fighting God till today. What determination that he will not give up satan comes to you and talks to you about god as if he does not you can imagine as if he does not factor his defeat in the discussion 
Satan never talks to you as if he's defeated. I hope you will laugh. Let me tell you what I'm about to tell you. Someone came and met me. I think I was praying for people after service one time. And a young boy came, just stood before me. And I saw something that looked like the poster of an election. And I looked at him and he came with conviction. And I opened it. And I wanted to run away. He was coming out for president of Nigeria. <sighs> Having shouted and thought that all things were possible. I looked at this, my dear brother and i didn't know how how what what angle do i become diplomatic do i go directly i looked at this boy and you will know you see the gaps in knowledge the decades of learning this guy would need to ah. yes president i don't know what party i'm not sure there was a party yet in all fairness in all fairness i'm not if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking he stood at the line for prayer said he came to receive it I, I told him i said look um my my dear brother let me tell you this um god walks in seasons number one and life is in levels the gentleman did not agree you see that and i told him i said do you know what it means to be the president of any nation and then the president of nigeria he was absolutely convinced absolutely it would have been better if he said maybe he had a dream or prophecy he just came and just believed that he wants to change nigeria he's never been class rep he's never been um maybe uh, 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 uh not even counselor leader of some whatever it is you think God hates us that much as a nation? I know we've sinned against God as a nation, but oh, come on, please. There's still a remnant that... This gentleman was almost making trouble. I just said, kneel down. Just laid hands on him and said, please, just, just carry your trouble and go. I'm not ready. <laughs> so imagine, do you know with that kind of determination there is nothing you would tell that guy that's the kind of determination satan has over your destiny that as unwise as it looks satan still believes in his agenda that's what that's the point i'm trying to uh, i'm trying to pass across you would think satan should be so afraid because of your last testimony and not come again satan you watch him the bible says he left jesus for a season you testified as a triumph of light over darkness if i were satan i would give up the way the miracle happened he stopped the first child and you gave birth to twins and you think satan will fold his arms he will rest and come back again this is the kind of adversary we have if you do not know who satan is and his level of determination you will take him for granted to your peril I'm showing you the necessity for the warfare and the intercessory dimension of prayer Satan will kill anything he finds to kill you know Satan does not have an agenda of himself he studies what God wants and creates an agenda out of it it's not like he has a preset no 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 he looks at your life he does not have any personal bias towards you he just wants to know what God is doing and he hears that God wants to lift you. That in this year, God is taking Roger to another dimension. He says, fine. Now we have an assignment. His assignment is a subset of whatever God is saying. Anytime God is speaking, don't you ever think you are the only one hearing. Satan is a very intelligent listener. When he came to Adam, he said, what did God say? I don't tell me what. I just want to know what God said. Because my assignment is tied to what he said. Are we learning so the moment he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy god has spoken to you i'm lifting you this year and i'm bringing honor and glory to your life don't just say amen and stop 
you must engage you go to the place of prayer and word of all of those things first peter chapter 5 and verse 8 have a few more minutes first peter 5 and verse 8 let me show you a very powerful scripture it says be sober first peter 5 and verse 8 be sober it says be vigilant what does it mean to be vigilant to be vigilant means to be sensitive to not be careless to be discerning he says because your adversary not your boss not the one fighting you those are puppets the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour jesus gave us power and authority over satan there are families who continue to watch the devil wreck them and shred them into pieces and they keep getting depressed there are lives you think the devil wants you to continually be anointed in ever increasing dimensions he's seen the havoc that the anointing in your life has done so far to the kingdom of darkness will he grant you access to intelligence and systems and structures that can multiply the anointing he will fight it tooth and nail satan knows what you did with the last 10 million god gave you he knows how the house of god benefited you think he will sit down and just allow doors to be open anyhow you don't know satan he's every other thing but lazy and foolish two things you cannot credit to satan he's not lazy and he's not foolish apostle why is it that other people who are not christians they don't even pray and they move forward there is nothing that is pro kingdom in their agenda so satan has no concern about fighting them satan attacks but in truth he has a protocol listen many of you watch football if you are playing say a semi-final or a finals and you are supposed to weaken that team your your target will be the the strongest of the, the key players they call them is that true if you can bring one or two out i think you've done a good job as far as making a contribution to the defeat of that team that's what satan is doing so the fact that satan is not letting you rest should tell you the role you play in god's agenda why is it that out of 10 people in your family he seems to have isolated you i tell you why because in his mind you are equal to the strength of the 10 people rather than seeking to destroy the 10 people one by one why is satan focusing on your church why is satan focusing on you as a man of god you are worth to him in his thinking you are worth to him more than five thousand preachers fighting you is most profitable to him than fighting is a way of conserving energy when he comes to you it should be a consolation that you are really valuable in god's agenda is god speaking now satan leave my family alone that's not it he's found out that there is something in that family you are not aware of that is pro kingdom satan why are you fighting my marriage why are you fighting my fruitfulness why are you fighting this satan does not fight anything for itself he looks beyond that thing and sees what it will achieve so hannah if samuel is coming out of you get ready to be barren it's not about your womb it's about samuel who else will anoint saul who else will anoint david elizabeth if john is coming out of you who will ordain jesus who will save the world you are on my list joseph if your rising will bring preservation to god's people so that they become god's covenant people the people from whom the messiah will come then get ready for trouble can i tell you this this is an information i'm giving you as we prepare to pray i can tell you this by revelation and i can tell you this from scripture satan attacks but he does not attack anyhow he attacks based on on how much point that attack will score as far as his advancement is concerned 
so he can isolate preachers he can isolate businessmen if you plan to be serious with god listen to this message if you don't plan to be serious with god that's all right but if you plan to be serious with god i want you to know that not everybody is willing to be serious with god the moment you declare to be serious with god you have drawn the line with satan will he come yes uninvited yes he's called a thief a thief's invited all you need to do is to be successful build a house your success and your results is the invitation but we have a god in heaven now thanks be to god who causes us how long always now thanks be to god preacher now thanks be to god businessman now thanks be to god that in spite of the schemings of darkness there is already a way of escape someone should rejoice that there is a way of escape a way of escape in prayer i can engage by the power of prayer and subdue everything that looks like a manifestation of darkness this morning we are going to take five minutes to engage i know that we have spoken about these four points but i am concerned about the fourth because this is where many of us are in and in the next five minutes i like us to take some time to pray can i tell you there are certain gates. a king maker never becomes a king but he makes kings study the history of your churches in the west the people who lifted the people you celebrate were not lifted themselves so if all you are waiting for is a man's result you may not rise because there are people somebody can see that not even have a church he just sits in his house prays supports missionaries whereas that is the grace you tap into to have an international ministry be careful if all you look at is physical results because God hides great things that's why your heart cannot be seen imagine if a woman's hand is on her head a woman's womb is on her head do you know what your enemies will do with the baby so God hid it inside I can slap your head and God designed it to be strong enough to endure every kind of wickedness that will happen to it but the fragility of your womb your heart those organs God hid it so when God hides people we live in a generation where we are obsessed to be seen let me tell you a secret the more powerful you are in the spirit the more God hides you it's a principle prophets in ancient times hardly traveled even in the west here they were seers they will remain in a room like Habalis for a long time but as soon as you open the door they will call your name and say sit down let me tell you your destiny and you are wondering who is this they say young man you are going to be great but be careful on the ninth year of your life if you are not careful this will happen what i'm seeing you should fail but give me room let me go and tell god to change it that's how they will talk by the next day they will come they'll say i discuss with god you are free you will think it's a joke look those people knew god oh they knew god some of them were roaming around the forest when power fell on their head they were not in a a, a If our generation does not balance our new revelation with honor we will lose all the covenants that make sustainability that's why we young people have a lot of balloon success we come out today and make noise today and two years we are down because we are not supported by anything ancient i was talking with minister dusin when he was telling me about his father and the revival and the move he, he happens to be at the same place with with god's servant the same region i've studied some of those people i've studied some of those prophets my god i'm telling you history does not do justice to the level of power and insight and the knowledge of god they had. they were men they had their limitations but these men knew god 
they could go and discuss with God as doing a board meeting and come out and look at you and say this should happen to you but I just discussed with God and he agreed to let you go they can look at you and tell you if you don't behave well if your feet touches the city they will carry your dead body you will think it's a joke you just come I just flew in from Europe flew in from wherever your feet will touch there and God will honor even if they are wrong he will honor them and then you correct them later on that's the kind of covenant they had with God I wish what I were saying were a lie but it is true Lagos hear me when God says it's a season of open doors the real door is not just business the real door is not just properties the real door is not just investments the real door is your eyes the real door is your ears because when your eyes is opened this is why the prophetic ministry is powerful and this is why it's the most abused because it's a ministry that thrives on open eyes and open ears do you know i can stand right now sir please come i can look at this man and in the spirit i can see that this man is a multi-millionaire now i've taken advantage of open eyes but because i do not have character and i'm not serious with god i will prophesy to him call his name are you together and now manipulate money out of him that one is not god that one is flesh but i took advantage of the open eyes so i can look in this congregation and fish out the wealthiest people fish out the greatest politicians and prophesy because it is at now is now is at my disposal now by the privilege of open eyes i can deceive and manipulate and because i have details that are true you will believe me are we blessed Who is God lifting in January? Who is God lifting in March? You must have the eyes to see it. So that you can come and plant your impact in the heart of that man. It is easy to rise when your eyes are open. You will know where to channel your energy productively. So you don't waste your time investing in people who are not rising. Thank you, sir. Are we together? first day I saw your daughter sir F. Nathan I remember the first day she ministered I looked at her I said ah this lady is not just a worshiper she's a prophetic worshiper she truly has a grace that sets the atmosphere it's true the first day I met with minister Dunsing I told him and we continue to talk about it all the time I said this man what God will do with this man in the nations and I'm saying it even again and to the open the grace it is his personal competence and sacrifice but he's an extension of an ancient altar believe what I'm telling you this man you see is not just a song he's continuing something ancient the national anthem of Nigeria says the labor of our heroes past. It's not just heroes that fought physical war. There are spiritual heroes past. And some of us you see are extensions of what is happening. Let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your home. Listen, do you know there are graces that when you carry, God will not allow you marry from certain places. It's not whether it is good or bad. Ah, this is what your prophets used to do. They will look and tell you, no, I don't know why. The person is not wrong, but this combination is wrong. Now, it is not on all cases. There are people because of the prophecy on their life. 
don't get me wrong i hope you understand what i'm saying it is true it does not happen in all cases but believe me there are certain graces there are times that god will connect you to a man and a woman and you look physically and there's no reason why you should be married and god says just do what i'm asking you to do i am joining altars more than men and two of you will bring a hybrid combination the children that will come out from that altar will introduce a new anointing to the body do you remember in scripture when this guy was laboring to pay dowry on his wife a ghost suddenly appears her stomach starts protruding say no i've gone through a lot of trouble with you madam my name is joseph you can go and look for whoever got you pregnant i'm tired your stomach is protruding who did you sleep with and nobody a, a, a spirit came to me and told me i'm highly favored what is why didn't the spirit appear to say okay be patient as a husband just let me just use your wife to give birth to the messiah and hear me while all that discussion was happening joseph wanted to is in your bible to leave her and an angel appeared and said mr man don't you don't know what you are doing there is a mystery just be patient let them give birth to jesus you can have your children but be that father you are about to be introduced into a history that you do not know do you believe what i'm sharing so there are times that you will have every reason every reason in fact there are some graces when you carry you cannot relocate to certain regions the graces and the nature of the operation of that graces require you are domiciled within certain regions so we will carry those graces god will he will not tell you this is why because god knows we are stubborn so he will look for an attractive excuse to take you to that place do you realize that one time jesus wanted to pray for a blind person he took him out of one city into another before praying for him jesus i'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church your man of God is a prophet. You understand? I will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people will think we are just talking a lot of nonsense. But believe me, if you call what I'm saying nonsense, I wish you good luck. In this wicked world, this cruel world that ignorance is, you pay with your lifetime. This is the mystery behind the results of people. Now, nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries you just see people rising and here's what we say you are lucky i'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars there are support systems that lift people that's why they don't fear what people do because they know what is backing them hallelujah open eyes that you can see open eyes for your finances open eyes for everything around your life i want you to be tired of the realm you are now i want you to be tired of struggling tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in and no 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 there are superior systems hallelujah this is one of my dear people he's a military officer one time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram. And they almost killed this, my dear son, for me. I said, Lord, I thank you for the military people who are fighting. But please, I ask you, take this, my son, out of that place. We still need him for a long time. And that's why they carried him. I think he's in Lagos now. So. And he still comes to serve in the media every time. This is a military man. Because even though even though he's fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil 
the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true otherwise a day will come songs will not come again a territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months inviting you every day to every meeting after six or seven months they will spit you out and that's the end of your career but there are people who remain ever fresh the secret i tell you you look at them is not necessarily their skill or prowess alone they are tied to something that is ancient you don't find the root on earth you only find the body the root is in the realm of the spirit it does not die Is God speaking to us? We are going to pray. I know that our time is gone. But we'll pray. Before I begin to minister. Ah, this morning God will surprise you all. That, that you left your house and came here. No, no, no. He never calls the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. And let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. If the next two minutes you open your heart, you will be surprised what God will do in your life. Men are made in the night, not in the day. The day is for manifestation. The night is for making. According to God's protocol, is the evening and the morning. The morning does not start a day. If your day starts in the morning, it's already too late. Both conception and delivery happens in the morning. In the night. Listen, while you are seated, I like you to be. I'm provoking you. Be tired of where you are and say, Lord, I thank you. You have blessed me, but this is not it. This is not it for my children. This is not it for my destiny. I thought things would change in 2016. I thought things would change in 2017. But Lord, this year of open doors, maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically. Walk around this auditorium. It's time for me to move in the name of Jesus Christ. Please wear the instrumental. It's just help me. Someone is walking around and prophesying. Don't just walk around looking. Please prophesy. I refuse to be in the same position. I refuse to be in the same position. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Shalika baranda salatasiaka brakataka tabarakato sadebalakash. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. Shekete kaparakata. Shekete leke parato sosiata. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please do me a favor if you can. If there is no space, that's all right. But please pair yourselves into three. We are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord. We want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray. Please pair yourselves into three. If there is no space, just do two, two. Pair yourselves into three. Let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives listen in the next five to ten minutes you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray this is going to be the prayer lord every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that i'm holding i draw that grace through honor lift your voice and pray someone you may be holding your brother but pray Outside, are you praying? Shkaparakata, embre kete kete ke parakatos, lakata prakata zikete, repo shavata paparakatos, lakata prosa na malakata, embre te reke paruto shodola. Spirit. I pray to my spirit. I pray to my spirit. 
somebody's hand don't, don't we lay the man of god please make sure are you ready you are still going to pray the same prayer please these are prophetic instructions i tell you you are not wasting your time believe me a threefold cord that cannot be easily broken you're going to lift your voice again lord what have you planted in this man what have you planted in this woman what altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility? I draw it of Jesus amen in the name of Jesus amen you are going to lay your hands on your eyes 
and you are going to say the door of my eyes you are also the door of my destiny in the name of jesus be open let me see lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and pray be open see opportunities be open be open be open see relationships be open in the name of jesus be open in the name of jesus a father a father be open be open be open. Let me see my helpers. Be open. Let your business ideas. The door of my eyes. Be open. The door of my eyes. Be open. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, then we'll begin to minister. The head of a man is the symbol of your glory. It is true. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and i shall be anointed with fresh oil please listen to me it is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup you are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming whether it is of ancestry whether it's of bloodline have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation and i decree and declare may my head be lifted up he said listen to me he says thou O lord art a shield for me some three my glory he says the lifter up of my head you're going to prophesy my head my destiny rise up rise up from the ashes rise up from the grave someone is praying someone is praying <laughs> one more prayer point in John 11 when it was time to bring Lazarus out of the grave he said roll away the stone when it was time for Jesus to come out of the grave the angel came and rolled away the stone you are going to roll away every stone listen there are people the truth is you are standing physically but spiritually there is a door that has closed your destiny you are going to pray listen pray like a prophet pray like a priest that in the name of jesus that every stone that covers my glory my family our name our relevance we roll you away by the spirit of god it's time for lazarus to come forth someone is praying pray for your family pray for your relatives Shut your 
I tell you things are shifting in this place yes yes can I give you one more prayer point father everything tying me down he said lose that man and let him go the stone can be rolled away but your past is still holding you the stone can be rolled away but yesterday is still holding you refusing that you will not enter tomorrow everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow whether it is your past whether it is your failures so let me go i cut away from you lift your voice and pray That is already morning. We just have a few more minutes and the vigil is over. But listen, listen to me. There are times in a man's destiny that you must be very serious with your life and insist. You know, the challenge with many believers is we are not yet serious enough. One thing I know with the devil is he respects seriousness. Take it from me when there is a level of fire and seriousness you apply to your destiny he said resist the devil and he will flee not he may flee if he's not fleeing the resistance is not strong enough hallelujah we are going to pray did you bring your prayer request okay please return back to your seat if you've not written your prayer request we'll give you five minutes please write it because i'm about to minister now inside outside those following online from whatever nation you can write and send your request please do it very quickly we're about to pray everything you are tired of seeing that must let you go please write it down nobody's reading it right here it will be prayed for and then it will be burnt away so you don't have to be afraid that people will read your request. You don't have to write your name. You just write what it is. Some of you may need to call your loved ones and say, what, what are we tired of in this family? That must go. I'm convinced that a vigil without prayer is a waste of time. A vigil that you did not pray prophetically and strategically is a total waste of time the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word remains the principal tools for healing for deliverance for breakthrough this is a very deep and profound mystery what we are doing and is biblical once upon a time three kings came together to threaten the people of god 
and they submitted the request on the altar go ahead write your request the Bible says to be anxious for nothing he says he says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says make your request known don't assume it is known make your request known please write it down and in case your faith did not allow you to write some things write it again no? because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them because we say can God make a way in the wilderness going to pass it they'll bring it before the altar here you can pass it to the last person maybe the person on the aisle can we do it that way maybe to make it easy or ushers just go around maybe just find a way of organizing yourself please make sure everyone's request is here just you can just submit it we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you to come and do what you do. Set our hearts, Set our hearts. Submit you. Submitted to the ushers moving round, there are ushers moving. I don't know if there are ushers up there. If they are here to collect yours, you can just wave yours and somebody will. Please, there are people waving there. Let's let's have their request. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my life is changing in the name of Jesus. I will never be the same I've touched your grace my life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace my life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace my life is changed I will never be the same I've touched your grace My life is changed 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 I am 
same You've touched His grace Your life is changed You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life is changed You will never be the same You've touched His grace Hallelujah. Now, while you are dropping this, I'd like you to begin to pray where you are seated and declare that, Lord, these Egyptians that I see today, I will see them no more forever. Somebody is praying. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. These Egyptians that I see today, I see them no more forever. Do we have all the requests? Alanda Basca Barusa Siete Catabrata Siete like a rope this is delay 
and I'm seeing the number 17. Right now, there are 17 people all over the congregation. I stretch my hands. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on you now. Breaking delay. Bring them out. I release that grace. Delay break now. Please bring them out now. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of delay tying down people's lives be broken now. Inside, outside, bring them out. Whether you are inside, outside, bring them. Lift your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. Lift your voice in one minute and rebuke delay from your life. It's time to walk through open doors. Time to walk through open doors. showing me the hands of people tied i'm seeing hands that are tied i want to pray right now the power of god will come on those people some of you it's not just your hands that are tied it's even the hands of your family god will touch you for your family i'm seeing right now at the count of three one two three may that grace break those chains right now break those chains oh my god my god my god Your name, ma? 
You are a member of this church? I want to pray for you because your life is about to change completely. What I see God doing will surprise you, man. Can I pray for you? Who is Jonathan? Jonathan. I'm hearing a name, Jonathan. Jonathan. You are wearing a white, like a white cloth. Jonathan. Who is that? Is there somebody like that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. What's your name? Please verify that they are not just coming out. Please. Don't just. Your name is Jonathan. Sir, your name is Jonathan. It's alright. I will pray with you. Whose mother is in a teaching hospital? There's someone your, your your mother also is in a teaching hospital. Sick. I don't know who that person is, but please come. I want to pray. Can you find that person? I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Kemi, who is that? K E M I Kemi. That's that's somebody's name. Please, who is that? Quickly. Ma, I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I truly see a very serious breakthrough. Why, why are they coming? Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at the miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus. This girl. Tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family, let it come to an end now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I command that you go out of her life now. In the name of Jesus, out of her life. See, let me tell you, please don't think we are wasting our time here. God is rearranging destinies. My dear, the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you. Remember not the former things. This, this young lady nor consider the things of old come the lord is asking me to lay my hands on you that things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you in the name of jesus let this happen even by the spirit an end comes to oppression in your life in the name of jesus christ susan 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 i'm hearing the name susan who is susan you are susan Mama, you are Susan. From where? From where are you? Is, is this mic working? Huh? I'm married to a kitty like I'm from Delta. I want to pray for you. Can I rebuke the spirit of death over your family? The power of God is going to come on someone now. The Lord is averting death from your family. It's, listen, no, no, no. It's a specific person. I want to bring the person out right now. A strong anointing is going to fall on someone. Please bring the person. That spirit of death. I just saw like a dark shadow. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I decree and declare that everyone and every family are pointed unto death by the spirit of the living God. It is averted now. When the power of God comes on that person, please pick the person and bring them out. The anointing of the spirit.
that man near the door that man wearing red tell him to lift his hands that gentleman standing near the door tap him and tell him to lift his hand no the one wearing red tell him to lift his hands in the name of Jesus I command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family now in the name of Jesus Christ mama let me pray for you in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands to you and I pray the grave is a spirit it can call people you can hear it like someone is calling you but it is the grave I command in the name of Jesus may your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave in the name of Jesus for you and for your children and I declare you are free now and you are free forever please don't be embarrassed there is the Lord is showing me a woman here I know that generally there will be a lot of people but there is a woman here this is up to four five six like six years you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb who is that person I'm, I'm saying up to one two three four five six please come your time has come who is that Haribiti Harabata Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Let me know. I know some of you just came out. It's not what I said, but you still came out. But God, God will still touch you. I know some of you. I hope you are all married. Praise God. We have to be careful in the house of God over the things we pray for. Praise the Lord. Where is your husband? Please help us with the mic. Media, can, can you help us so that the mic works? My husband is at home. Where? Where is home? Maryland. Maryland. Yes. You are in Lagos here. Yes. Do you believe that if we pray for you, you will have a child yes. you will come and stand in this altar yes. and testify yes. Kai, the wonder working power of god is a marvel the power of god is going to come on one of you one of you here right now now out of her barrenness is a spirit it can hear now release their destiny release their fruitfulness it's over go and return with your children in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to you and I prophesy according to the time of life I don't care what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead standing on this altar of Pastor Amos Fenwa as the prophet of God I decree and declare you will return with your child in the name of Jesus my dear is your husband here because the Lord is telling me he's here where is he please help us are the mics working call him where is he husband where? let's save time our time is, is do you call his name so that he will hurry up Shola Fawe. Shola, are you here sir okay someone has gone to call him there is a reason why I'm asking him to come. I hope you're not embarrassed. A few minutes and, and we'll be done. What's your name? Susan, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? What do you have to do with Anambra State? My father is from there. Your father is from Anambra State. I want to pray for you. That every altar that stands to destroy your destiny, in the name of Jesus, I curse that altar now. Out! Now! Sir, how long have you been trusting God for the food of you? Huh? Yes. About six years. Do you believe the end has come? Yeah. Hold my hands. My friend, look at me. You believe in miracles? 
Huh? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it's over. I needed to pray for him first. Yeah. Now, I see what is happening. I prayed for him and the miracle happened to the wife. You see, the eyes to see, you must trust God for grace. That simple instruction, look at this. This is to tell you that when people marry, two really become one. Because I wanted to pray for her and the Lord said, no, this is the man you will pray for. And then this will, please go, you will return with your testimony. I can't even remember why you are still. Kemi, all of you, why are you here? You know, sometimes this thing, okay. Do you do business? Huh? What do you do? I sell clothes and I run a training outfit. Ah! Madam, this is your year. You are going to make a lot of money. Is it your mother? I spoke about business and you ran out. Uh, you do business too. What do you do? Huh? Kitchen utensils. Kitchen. Kitchen utensils. Ah, okay. I will pray with you too. Eh? But, madam, can I pray with you? Don't forget God oh, as he lifts you. Because what I see happening to you, it will surprise you. June, July, August. There are strange months of breakthrough for you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. These are your children. Come. Who is this one? This fella. My first one. Your first one. Where is she? Uh, uh, Pray for how? Huh? I will speak in parables. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please pray for her i am convinced that if you are born again and your association is not born again you are not born again i'm sorry but this, this is how you have to be born again enough to affect your association praise the lord so we have to be very careful so that sometimes we don't get ourselves mixed up into a lot of this nonsense that destroy God's people. But oh, madam, I pray for you. May doors be open for you now in the name of Jesus. And for all of you here who are standing, I want to pray for you. August is your month of wedding. Who is that? August, come. Because I'm seeing something that can will create serious trouble. I must pray for you. I'm not saying if you want to marry Augusto. Please understand what I'm saying. What? I'm seeing too many people. No, I'm not saying if you want to marry well. Are you married? Huh? August. No, I'm talking. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't communicate it well. I meant you have fixed your wedding date. And it is for August. For some of the people I'm seeing here, you should not be. Is there someone like that? This is what I'm seeing. Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for that person. You? Your wedding? When? August. It's been fixed. Is your pastor aware? Oh, you just agreed. Ah. I respect protocol oh, so that I don't come and bless. Make sure you meet. I will pray for you, eh, but this is this is the the, 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 the relevant committee who work on it. What, what's, what's happened to Mama? By August. That's right. They are getting married. This is the wife. And this is the wife. This is the husband. Which one is your child, Mama? Uh, my son. I mean, the boy. Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. There will be no accident. Mama, what happened to you? What happened to you? I'm sick. I went to Beria 2018. You are a member of this church, Mama? Mm, my son is a member. I okay, okay. Member you went for burial. Mm, and from that. 
your leg just paralyzed. I fall sick seriously. I'm the one that come out just as come and give the money that I nearly died. Say. Okay, she shared the testimony. Since you are already out, let me pray for you, Mama. No, don't worry. I will just pray for you, Mama. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Mama. Let the power of God heal you from this arthritis. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost completely set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I pray for every one of you. For whatever reason, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, you will return with strange testimonies. My sister, look at me. This lady, lift your hands. I'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm not seeing a face. Stand up. I'm seeing a body, but I'm not seeing a face. I must rebuke bad luck from your life. Can I pray for you? I hope you're not embarrassed. Hold my hands. Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus, let this be over in your life now. In Jesus' name. This fair lady, you, that come. It's time for God to turn your family around. Please come. I bless all of you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is not of God, let it give way. God bless you. Please, you can return back to your seat. I pray for you. Have I prayed for you? In Jesus' name, I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray for you. Where are you coming from, my dear? Huh? Jonathan, where are you from, sir? In the name of Jesus, I release you and I open up doors for you. In the name of Jesus, I open up doors for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name. Where are you from, my dear? I'm coming from the country. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore the blessings of your family. Everything that represents shame and reproach, I come against it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for the sick? My God, our time is already gone. Let me use a few minutes to pray for the sick. If you are trusting God for healing any part of your body, um, you don't have to come out. Just, we may not have all that time. Where you are, just where you are. Don't worry right where you are just lay your hands there there are so many people trusting god so we may not she's already out i'll pray with you but in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy ghost god bless you now i want to pray for the sick please believe in miracles i want to to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just touch your chest. And I will pray for you right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please say Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. That every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body. I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus. Right now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus be healed right now. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. 
receive your healing right now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now every lump in the breast area or any part of your body I command it to disappear now the power of God is touching people migraine headache be healed now peptic ulcer be healed now heart palpitations be healed now every challenge with your bones in the name of Jesus I correct it now pile no matter how long be healed now in the name of Jesus there's someone you have severe pain around your molars your teeth in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching that person right now touching that person right now we're going to take a few testimonies here in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have excruciating stomach pain you've not been able to figure what the problem is month after month excruciating pain right now you're going to feel just like fire a warm sensation and that's the end of it i declare be healed now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone i think because of your blood group you have um a lot of pains help them the power of god is coming on that person right now around your joints severe pains in the name of jesus right now the power of god is touching you every problem with your eye in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare be healed now any challenge with your ears in the name of jesus i declare unto you be healed now by the power of the holy ghost be healed now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating you are not exactly sick like your body but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up in the name of jesus i declare to you be healed now completely set free completely set free it looks like hyenae around your groin area but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go i don't know who that is but in the name of jesus i'm declaring to you be healed right now there's someone just just around the area where you feel pain for appendicitis you've been feeling that pain this is up to two years now i'm praying for you by the power of the holy spirit be healed now supernatural healing in the name of jesus supernatural healing um my god you had a dream and it's like a dream or something from what i'm seeing and someone told you that they will put cancer on you in the name of jesus i don't know who that is i hope you know that these things you see most of these challenges are demonic in origin they really truly are i'm praying for you right now bring the lady that shouts under the anointing the power of god is coming on a lady now i'm seeing a lady not a man it's a very loud shout please bring that person i just want to prophesy over that person and rebuke this thing that i'm seeing there is something in your stomach that god wants to remove out in the name of jesus thank you jesus this is an instruction god is giving me so please just be patient with me as that anointing comes upon that person please bring the person here right now i want to pray no that's not the person the power of god is going to come upon the person i will still pray but that's not the person this one i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit i was praying and the holy spirit just interrupted me it's a very strong anointing and it's just coming on someone right now you see when you are spiritual 
you have to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. We are here responding to what He wants, not what we want. And if you are not sensitive, you can miss out on prophetic things for people's lives. Praise the Lord. I don't know why He does these things sometimes, but we just are patient. Please, just be sensitive. The power of God will come on that person. Bring her. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, I decree and declare they will not tell you you have blood tubes in the name of Jesus. I reject that evil report and I declare that everything that is not of the Christ in your life and in your body let it go now in the name of Jesus. Let it go now in the name of Jesus and now I pray for every other person whether I've mentioned your case or not I'm seeing a thermometer this is high blood pressure in the name of Jesus, be free now. In the name of Jesus, be free now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that everything that is not of God planted in your body, I command it to come out now. In the name of Jesus, I command it to come out now. Let me wrap up by speaking over your life. Now, listen very carefully. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. Please give it to us. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. Please, let's read it together. And the elders of the Jews built it, and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment hallelujah now listen I want to speak to you because the Bible lets us know that we are built up like living stones and I want to speak over your life they prospered through the prophesying they prospered through the prophesying prophecy is powerful and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved the prophetic ministry has largely been abused the prophetic ministry has been maybe tampered with the level of character and intelligence and balance may not have been quite there but it does not mean the prophetic ministry is not valid it is a ministry that is valid for all generations. Praise the Lord. Can I speak over your life? Prophecy does not only reveal, it creates. It can make what has no business happening to happen. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, every closed door, Holy Ghost Christian Center, I pray for you that every door that has been closed towards you, your business and your family, I speak to that door. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. I speak to every branch of this ministry scattered across the globe. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, and all the ministries connected to this grace, whatever has shut the door towards your influence, your impact, I decree and declare those doors are open now I pray first over your spiritual life whatever has closed the door to hunger genuine passion for the things of God whatever has eroded your prayer life whatever has dampened your word study life so that you no longer have the hunger and the passion for the things of God in the name of Jesus tonight, may that door of desperation 
and hunger towards the things of God be open. Listen, 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 listen. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.